North Shore nursing home ignoring the state's mandatory coronavirus testing order, and it could cost the center tens of thousands of dollars. Good evening, everybody. I'm Liam Martin. And I'm Paula Evan. Massachusetts is requiring every nursing home which accepts state aid to test all residents and workers. The owner of one facility in Rowley says he won't do it. WVZ's Louisa Moeller shows us why. A converted mansion on 25 acres of land, the Seaview Skilled Nursing and Rehabilitation Facility in Rowley has thus far been spared the tragic consequences of COVID-19. In-house, we have not had any cases of the COVID um, to date. But owner Steve Comley says the state is still trying to subject all of his 43 tenants, as well as staff, to the COVID-19 test. It's a move he just won't go for. It is not a comfortable test. It is rather invasive. Uh, the failure rate, um, I believe, is about, it's over 30% at this point. He says the nasal swab could cause some residents to become confused or combative. When you jam a, a, a wood stick into somebody's nasal cavity, the normal reaction is to back off. And it's unwanted by staff. We screen every um, employee every day with a questionnaire, uh, vitals, temps, um, all the time. That means Seaview will forego roughly $150,000 in supplemental funds it would receive if at least 90% of the staff and residents were tested. And it's money that we could really use, you know, it offset a, a lot of the added costs that are associated with, with combating this. Um, but not under these circumstances. Instead, nursing director Maureen Curley says they'll stick with their protective equipment and a policy to test any new resident who moves into the building. But the CNAs here are incredible. They're, um, they, they know these patients inside and out and they, they report every subtle change. In a statement, the Department of Public Health told us that testing is a key strategy to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 in nursing facilities. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.